Hi, welcome to the next video. We're at Epcot today. We've come for the Food and Wine Festival to try lots of different food. We're filming this intro at the end of the day. We just want to let you know that there's going to be some flashing images and lighting effect because we've come to watch the nighttime show at Epcot Luminous. Enjoy the video. Welcome to the next video where we are at Epcot, the International Food and Wine Festival 2024. So we've got a little passport. So the passport lists all the different food booths around the World Showcase. Uh, it lists food and drink. There's also a food challenge called Emile's Fromage Montage. So if you get five cheese dishes and get a stamp for each dish, you get a final stamp, which you then swap for a treat at the end. We'll see if we actually do that over these two days. I believe it's a blueberry swelled cheesecake, cheesecake dessert. In a, a rememberable plastic tumbler food and thing. wine tumbler thing. So me and Matt haven't been here since Epcot has built this communicore hall and also the Moana. The last time we came and it was building both of these wasn't it? Yeah they? there were big blue walls everywhere like while everything was under Yeah it was all yeah yeah I remember that. Our first festival food is we're gonna head to the communicore because of this, it's at the start of Epcot and we're gonna get a mac and cheese dish to try. So in the communicore hall they're doing all of this mac and cheese I think we are gonna get the cheesesteak mac and cheese, aren't we? Yeah. 6.50. So this is inside the brand new Communicor Hall. They've turned it into food booths. So over there you get the alcohol and over here is the mac and cheese dishes. So for the Emile's fromage frontage, you just look in the menu for the cheese symbol next to the menu item and then you can get a stamp towards the challenge. Okay, here is the mac and cheese. It smells so good. Oh. Okay, first menu item of the uh, Food and Wine Festival. Mm. And I. Matt, that is so nice. Wow. It does look very nice. The smell's really nice mm. as well. After every dish, we're going to rate it out of five, see what we think. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's unbelievable. Mm. One of the main stops for the festival. I'm going to give that five out of five. Wow, that really? is excellent. Wow. Oh, it's a bold statement. I think this is the best mac and cheese I've ever had. It's unbelievable. It's beautiful, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, definitely five stars. Five stars as well? Yeah, five stars for me. And that's also a first stamp for the Emile's Fromage montage. Our next stop is at the India booth. We're going to get the potato and pea samosa with coriander lime cream at 550 and also the chicken tikka masala with fennel spice yogurt and naan bread 625. Okay, we've got our next food. Here we go. We tried this last year. Yes, we And did. it was very spicy, wasn't yep. it? Yeah. Tikka masala normally isn't as spicy as what this is. Clouds are rolling in, so it's going to start thundering soon, don't we? Yeah, it's getting a little bit cooler, but it's still quite it's warm. Boiling, isn't it? yeah. It's 32 degrees today, but it feels like 39. Wow, I didn't know that. Oh, it's tender chicken. It just fell apart. Do you think it's the same spice as last year? Looks it. Mm. Is it spicy? Not too bad. Is it not? Well, they might have, might have toned it down from last but year. It's really nice. That is really nice, that. I'm a big fan of that. I'm just going to try a little bit of the samosa now. They're both really nice. Yeah. That's a little bit salty though. Is it? Mm. What do you get out of five? Four. Can't give everything a five, so this is gonna get a four this is. Alright, let's see what you think. I'm just wondering if it's as spicy as last year. So last year it was like a Rogan yacht on top. It was, yeah. The spice is building for me though. 
or I don't think that's a spicy last no, year. No, not as last year, no. It's very nice. Definitely not as spicy. Last year it was literally like a vindaloo, really wasn't it? It was, yeah. Very good. What did you give it? I'm gonna go 4.5 out of 5. Oh, very good. So Disney on a budget trip, we've just come to one of the quick serve things in China. So not the actual food bo food booths around the world tour, the actual physical restaurant quick service. And you can ask for cups of water. So we've got four cups of ice water, filled our bottles off, and we're going to use the sachets again to give us a flavoured drink. Get your flavour. We've got, oh, we've got plenty <laughs> of choice today. What do you want? I think I'm going to try one of the blue ones. We've not had these yet. Are you going to full one? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. What are you going to do? Um, I think I might try that watermelon one. All oh, right, with the added electrolytes. See what these are like. With oh. tuck, tuck shelter, because it's yeah, thundering it's and chuck it down as well. So the perfect chance to refill our parades with the free water and just sit down for a little bit. Yeah, hopefully it'll pass over soon. It starts to cool down a little bit, so that's a good sign. It's Unbearably hot today, isn't it? It is today, yeah. It is so hot. It always, I'm just sweating. It's so always much. pretty warm. It's a bit cooler near the water because you get a bit of a breeze, but um, yeah, it's always really warm at Oakpark. I think it's because you're out in the sun the whole time, aren't you? Yeah, and it's, there's not many air conditioned buildings, are no. there? It's all outdoor stalls. I've tried the watermelon one. And then just give it a shake. Is there any colour to it? Uh, I don't think it's on the same colour. Is this like a bottle of water? Yeah, water? no. Mm. Oh my god. Is that nice? That's very nice. Oh, right, okay. That's very refreshing. Oh god. The watermelon one. I've got an uh, energy, sugar free energy to try. Oh, mine's too good, yeah. Mm. 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 It's alive. It tastes blue. You <laughs> try it. I think that one. It's nice. I think I'd have to have a hard sachet though. Really? Yeah, it's, it's quite strong, strong that is. Yeah. I've not tried yours yet. Let's see what See how compares to the water we've been on. I think I like the strawberry and watermelon just as much as just the watermelon. That's They're definitely nice. weak enough to have a sachet to yourself. Yeah. yeah. But for me, that, I like a half sachet. Right, okay. Woo! And the thunder rolls. Those. Our next stop to the refreshment outpost. Because she's been wanting her face painted. I'm gonna like get four. the so I'm gonna take her famous zebra dome cake. Six twenty-five. So the rain's come back. <laughs> yeah, it took it behind me. <laughs> We're gonna eat it at the counter, aren't we? Yeah. gonna get four and a half from me Ooh. today. So it's not your best of the fest then? We'll do the, we'll do the best of the fest right at the end. Yeah I mean we've not tried everything yet. No. We're stranded <laughs> in a freshman outpost. Oh my god. 
So now it's the grease booth. Here's the menu. And we're going to try for the very first time the lamb gyro with sheep, lettuce, tomato, and radish with tzatziki and warm flatbread at 6 75 Right, so we've got the lamb gyro. We've never had this before, have we? No. We've done it in past years, haven't we? But we've just not picked it before. Oh, the, the tomato's diced on it. Off the bar, it's got some more on it. Oh, you right. know, that's more. I think you're around it. Yeah, I'll have to. I'll just lift it. Mmm. That is really nice. Is it good? Mmm. Yeah, you're really like that. I mean, that it's all the tomato. Yep. That side looks got, got plenty. You like your fancy fan? So you get a good slab of lamb and tomato and lettuce. It's not like the traditional shaved lamb you get on a gyro. No. It's like a lamb patty. Yeah, yeah. That's, it's like yeah. A, I think it's like a square slab of lamb. And you got, yeah, you can see the yogurt and mint tzatziki. So it's not quite being in Greece because we've been to Greece quite a few yeah. times and we've had the proper well that's often like a kebab gyro, that's then yes. sliced up yeah. or something so this isn't like but, that, yeah is it? no it's yeah, still nice it's, it's the same ingredients just served differently <laughs> i give this a three out of five Ooh. i was thinking a three as well so yeah that's that's good i think if you've not had one before you perhaps like it more than that it's just that we're going we're comparing it to ones we've had in the past, we've had aren't a we? One. Yeah. <laughs> so I made the Belgium. That's the menu. And me and Matt are gonna have the beer breeze beef serve with smoked food and mashed potatoes for six twenty-five. Okay, we had this last year, and it looks like a lot smaller portion. Yeah, I, I'm sure I remember it being a lot bigger. more than that yeah. last year. Yeah. It might be cheaper this time though. Maybe we paid a little bit. Yeah, I can't remember. Time. I'm not sure. Right, let's try some beef. Start raining again as well, by the way. That's very nice. Less salty than last year as well. This looks. Mm -hmm. This looks tiny compared to last year. It does. Honestly. Two thoughts. It's a bit lukewarm though. It's yeah, not very, it's not very that's hot. what I was going to say. It's not very hot. It's not very hot at all. No. They had them lined up, so I think it's been sat there a little mm. while. I'll try it again. Mm. I don't think it's as good as last year. No. 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 I'm not disappointed actually. I like it still, but yeah, it's yeah. Not, I, like, I agree. It's not as last good year's last was time. way better. Also, a lot of people were queuing for the Belgian chilled coffee, and they're saying that because of the weather, they're not allowed to serve it because it's outside. You have to stay in the little under Oh, was that bit. what that guy was asking yeah, in front so of us? Yeah, so he's queued all that time for the Belgian chilled coffee and, and was told, no, you can't have it. So Yeah, they should put it on the yeah, side, yeah. shouldn't they, outside? Yeah, so yeah. just worth noting, if, if it's thundering and the staff are sheltering and they've not got the outside kiosks uh, serving, then you might not be able to get some of the things that you want to get. So I'm going to give that a three this year. Oh, yeah. I'm quite disappointed. I can't believe the difference between like a year. Yeah, I think it's nice, it's just a shame it's lukewarm. So I think I'm gonna give it a three as well. Look at the rain, it's so bad. Literally we're soaked to the bone, our feet are flooded. So we've made our way around and we're gonna go into Figment's ride, journey into imagination. Try and get out of the rain for a bit. Yeah. Oh, oh, can I go too? Absolutely not. Uh, this is one of our discoveries, the figment of imagination. Yeah, I know all about the senses. They're sight, sound, smell, touch, coochie coochie go, and taste. Taste my chicken. Can I go? Please, please, please. No, I don't want you out of my sight. Out of sight? Okay. Come on, everybody. Here we go. It's figment. Figment? 
I thought I told you not to interfere. But you've got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. For every sound, your ears are hearing. A thousand thoughts can start appearing. The good times <laughs> Just come out of figment, still work its way back for the Nordic Mall. I think I'm going to get this carrot cake. Special bit of carrot cake with walnuts, cream cheese icing, 4 times 5. That's the rest of the menu. It was massive last year. Oh no. No way. No way. Oh my god, guys, if you watched our video of last year, we had this at the American Pavilion, wasn't it? Yeah. And it yeah. was huge. This is tiny. I'm in, oh my God, like I'm in such shock. It was like twice the size last time. I think it was three times the size of last year. <gasps> <laughs> wow. That is shocking compared to last yeah, year. Yeah. Let's see if it tastes yeah, as good. Yeah, see if it tastes, see what you think. I can't get over how tiny this is. Last year it was huge, wasn't it? It was. It's fresh out of the oven, so it might be a little bit warm. Well, it's not it shouldn't taste any better than this, then, should it? It's fresh out of the oven. Oh my god. Oh. oh. It's quite chewy. So, what do you prefer, this or the Walmart carrot cake? Because this was more expensive than a full carrot cake from Walmart. It's definitely the Walmart one. Yeah? Yeah. Last year, it was like a it was like a sponge almost. It was, yeah. It was super soft. This is quite chewy. Oh right, okay. That's what I'm getting. Oh dear. It's gonna start raining again. Oh my god, I'm so disappointed. Oh no. I had high hopes for this. It tastes nice, but I'm comparing it to last year. Yeah. Yeah, that's the trouble. So if you yeah. had if you had it last year, yeah, then you came this year like us. That's very disappointing. If it's the first time you've ever tried it, then I think you'll be highly delighted. Right, okay. I could taste good. So what would you give it out of five then? Apart from the chewiness, and it's quite it's quite burnt on top oh, right, okay. compared to last year as well. I wanna give it three and a half out of five. Oh right, okay. Yeah. So what do you think? You can see the burntness of it lot on that corner. How well done it is. Mm. Get the two in it. I think that's from the burnt top. Mm. Just still nice though. So what do you give out of five? Three and a half out of five, I think. Yeah, disappointed. Mm. Yeah, that's really disappointing that is. The um icing was really nice. Yeah, that's better than the carrot cake. Yeah. I've got us looking absolutely beautiful tonight. Like a different park into an night Epcot. Yeah, that's good. I think it's better night I've caught. Walking around it. So me and Matt have come back on a different night to carry on the food and wine festival video for you. We're gonna have a few more treats tonight, aren't we? That yep, we haven't tried yet. Yeah. And also we are going to watch the luminous nighttime show here at Epcot, which we have never seen before. So it'll be a first time no, no, for I've us. Seen that one. Come to Regal Evil Smokehouse and we've got a special. I'll tell you about that in a minute. But look at all these sauces. Matt, what do you want? 
What a brilliant selection of sauces. That's amazing. Okay, so this is a menu special item that they rarely have on. You have to catch them at the right time to have it on. This is a load of bird and fries, seasoned French fries with bird tens, mac and cheese, and beer battered onion rings for twelve ninety nine. And that is a portion and a half in there. A brilliant portion. It smells amazing. So if you come into the Regal Eagle and they have this special menu item, get it whilst I've got it. This is a ginormous portion. I'm gonna try the mac and cheese with the. Oh, can I get one of a bit of everything? Yeah, I think I can. It smells amazing. Thanks for that. Amazing. I'll try some breakfast by myself. This is on the menu when you come. You've got to try this. Is that That's nice? amazing. Oh, wow. I can't believe the size of this portion. Like, that is loads for two of you, isn't it? That, yeah, it's a brilliant portion for the two of you. Look into it. That's amazing, that is. Yeah, yeah, definitely uh, recommend getting this if you've got it. So, mine and Matt's last menu item of this year's Food and Wine Festival is going to be the freshly baked chocolate pudding cake served with bourbon caramel at $5. Man, I'm so full after that. Yeah, it's very full in uh, part of that. Not gonna lie, I says to Matt, I says, with this chocolate pudding, it's just gonna be like if you've watched the Credibly with Dawn French Christmas special with the Brussels, where she's just forcing the Brussels in her mouth because she's so full. You for this? That's gonna be me right now. Hopefully, this doesn't pop back out though, like the Brussels sprouts to this. <laughs> it looks good. So, this apparently is one of the best food items at this year's. Food and wine festival. I was expecting it to be a little bigger. Oh, well, no, comparing it to last year's it's here. Can you it out? Yeah, if you can. Last year's, this American pavilion had the carrot cake, and that was gigantic, wasn't it? Yeah. And this has obviously gone the same size. Like the carrot cake you had in earlier in the video, that shrank this year as well, hasn't it? Yeah, so they've obviously gone to the same size. Okay, here we go. Last item. Very nice. Yeah. It's like a molten lava cake. He tastes the bourbon in the caramel. No. Right. <laughs> I was looking forward to that bit. It tastes like chocolate sauce, caramel sauce. That's nice. Can get another bite. Sorry about the lighting, but it's actually really dark in it to walk around mm. at night. <laughs> it is. A lot of ambient lighting, that's why. Mm. Very nice. I see why people like it. Yeah, crusty on the outside. Yeah. Then gooey on the centre. Yeah. Hmm. Nice. It's very nice. Last two meals to finish the finish this year's food and wine festival 2024. Mm. Completed. So what was your eight out of five? The cake. Yeah. I'll give the cake a three out of five. Oh, I was thinking a three and a half out of Oh, five. right, that's, that's generous. <laughs> wow.
is our Food and Wine Festival of 2024. So our best of the first savoury was the first thing that we had and it was the Philly cheesesteak mac yeah. and cheese yeah, from Dorina Core Hall. Yeah. And our best of the first sweet item was the zebra dome cake at the refreshment outpost. Let us know in the comments below if you've been to Epcot and what your favourite thing of the festival was. So we hope you enjoyed our video and come along with us at this festival. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.